if a lawyer came to you and said, Judge, I've never been much of a reader and I really want to work on my writing, what kinds of things should I read to show me how a good nonfiction writer should write? What, what should I look at? Um, well, I, I frankly uh, have always kind of cited the uh, the great old standbys, uh, John W. Davis, uh, Frederick Bernays Wiener, uh, Carl Llewellyn. Um, but the real trick is not, not to uh, just read them, but to kind of uh, chew over. You know, there's a quote from somebody about some books are to be gulped, some are to be tasted, some are to be you know, chewed and digested, uh, is that is that you have to think about the principles and examples that are laid out uh, in terms of what can I do? I mean, to analogize, my father was a poker player and he would have these poker books and I would look at them and they would say, well, in this very particular circumstance, here's the way you do something. And you say, well, that I'm never necessarily going to see that hand that way. You have to think about what are the principles that uh, you can use every day and uh, most of those great standbys uh, uh, are, are, are pretty good at that. I mean, when I started out the first uh, times I did oral arguments and briefs uh, I sat down and, and read uh, things of that sort and, and thought about it and tried to take them to heart. So when you mention Davis you're thinking of his essay The Argument on Appeal? Right, that's the oral argument. Uh, Bernays Wiener is a whole book I forget. Briefing and Arguing Federal, federal appeals. appeals, right. And then when you talk about Llewellyn, are you talking about the common law tradition? Yes. Yeah.